Today on Stamp TV, I'm going to show you a pretty card that's easy to make featuring the new stamp set duo, Unforgettable. Today's technique features the thumping technique, along with a creative way to use a flourished die cut, electronic cut file, or paper punch. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to make this card. First, you're going to need some stamps, and I'm using this graphic forget-me-not flower from the unforgettable stamp set duo. I'm also using the greeting from the unforgettable stamp set duo set. Then you're going to need some cardstock and I am using some of the Gina K Designs white cardstock, some of the cherry red, and this piece of pattern paper comes from our Poppy Prints pattern paper pack, so I'm using that yellow plaid. Then you're going to need an ink pad, and I'm using the Gina K Designs Honey Mustard ink. I also have some markers here, and the markers that I'm using are the Memento Espresso Truffle, and I'm also using the Memento Bamboo Leaves. Now you can use any water-based markers. They don't have to be Memento markers, but you can't use Copic markers for this technique. So maybe some of your Stampin' Up! markers, or if you have Marvy markers, or any of the water-based ones, they'll work well. Then I do have one alcohol marker here, and this is the Bic Market marker, and it's the Prairie Berry color. Then I've cut a couple of little pieces on my silhouette. I've cut a border. This was actually a long border, and I cut it into two parts. And I also cut a flourish, and this is kind of a large flourish. It looked like that. That was from the Silhouette store. I got both the border and this particular flourish. But if you have a flourish or a border die or a paper punch, you can use those as well. I'm also going to use a little bit of adhesive and some scissors. So to begin, I want to show you the technique that I did here, the thumping technique. And you can see that our stamps are very closely trimmed. So if you want to make sure it's lined up right on the block and you have any of our grid blocks, you can just make sure that it's lined up on one of the grid lines so that it's straight and it looks the way you want it to look when you get it onto your piece of cardstock or your die cut piece. So I have a little rectangle of cardstock here and I'm going to start with the honey mustard ink and I'm going to ink this stamp up real well with this ink. Then I'm going to use some of the bamboo leaves. I'm going to use the brush side of this um, marker and I'm going to tap that randomly all over the surface of that rubber stamp. And I want to kind of go in both directions because I don't want it to all look like everything is facing the same way. So if it's easier, you can turn the stamp as you tap. And that will add a little bit of that green in there. And then I'm going to finish it off with some of the Memento Espresso Truffle. This is a very dark brown, almost a black brown, and it really adds a little bit more dimension into this technique. This technique looks very watercolored when it's done, and I like that look, but I also like to add some darker colors in there to really bring out more of the detail of the image. Okay, so if you've never done the thumping technique before, you've never seen me do it, what I'm going to do next is breathe moist air onto the stamp just by breathing on it, and that's called huffing. And I'm going to do that because the ink underneath, underneath and that first marker color may already have started to dry, and we want the whole thing to be wet and ready to stamp. So I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to stamp that right on that piece of cardstock. And believe it or not, that's all it takes is that little bit of moist air, and you get that beautiful watercolored thump look. Now you can see on this particular one, I used a lot more of the green and the espresso truffle. On the piece that I'm going to use in my card, I used less. So more of that uh, yellow and a little bit more of the green showed through and a little bit less of the espresso truffle. But I actually really like this because it's bold and bright. So the next thing I'm going to do to this focal image is I'm going to color in where there isn't any space to color, where there isn't any marker or um, rather rubber stamp, it's just empty holes. I'm going to color those in as the centers of the flowers using the Bic Market Prairie Berry. 
And the prairie berry is a very pretty color. It looks really nice with our cherry red cardstock. So I'm just going to create my own centers of these flowers using the prairie berry. Now you may notice that on this particular marker it's a very, very fine tip. Bic markers come with two different styles of tips. They come with the fine tip and the ultra fine tip. These are the ultra fine and these are great for really small detail work like I'm doing here. So if you are planning to pick up some, make sure you know which ones you're getting. Either the fine tip, which is a bit broader, or this ultra fine tip, which is very much like a ballpoint pen. So there is my focal image that will be ready to attach to this card. Now I'm going to assemble this card. I'm going to start with this patterned paper. I'm going to attach this to that cherry red card, card panel. And you know I like using that 1 8 of an inch border. I think that that's really nice and elegant and it, it frames out any piece of patterned paper really nicely. So there we have that 1 8 of an inch border. Now I've cut this particular silhouette file. You can see it was together like that at one point. And what I did was I just put it right into my paper cutter and I cut it at three and three quarter inches so it would match this particular area of my card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this up here a little bit more. I like to play with the layout a little bit and I already pre-layered my focal image piece. So I think I'm going to have that up top like that and then I'm going to bring my greeting in down here at the bottom. So then I have something along the top and something along the bottom and that gives me some balance. So to stick this to the card I'm just going to run some of this mono adhesive on there and I'm going to apply that right up to the top here. What's nice about any pattern paper that has a pattern like a plaid or something like that is you can get nice straight lines so that you know that your border is on straight. I just followed one of the lines on the pattern paper as long as you cut your pattern paper straight. Now this flourish like I said was a larger flourish and what I did was I just snipped it with my scissors and I thought I would just use one piece of it. And I was thinking about bringing it in from the corner here. So I'm going to lay this panel down first and then we're going to add that flourish on top. So this one will go right down on to the card base with mono adhesive and we'll position that off to the left a bit like that. And then this I was going to pop up with some quarter inch pop dots. So let me put those on. Now what you might want to try is putting one pop dot on and seeing if the lift from your layers is equal. If not, you can add another pop dot or maybe even just put a couple of them right in here so that it's not completely attached to that side but it's lifted evenly and not kind of flat on the one side. So we'll do that. We'll put that there. But before we do, let's position this flourish so that it's coming out of... Let's do this. We'll rest it right onto that greeting like that. And then we can snip that so that you won't be able to see it coming out from underneath. and then we can tape that down underneath here with a little bit of adhesive. There we go. We can move this pop dot over a little bit so that it's kind of pressing down onto that flourish too. So you may have some bigger flourishes and think they're kind of big for my card project but they're really not if you just trim them down and just use the parts that you want. Let's do that right about there. There we go. 
And then this whole panel is going to go on top of this white card base, like that. We'll do that with a little bit of mono adhesive. in place and there is my finished card project. The Unforgettable Stamp Set Duo is perfect for sending cards to those far away from home. And you can mix and match this beautiful floral image with other greetings in your collection to make cards for all occasions.